Hello and welcome to Into the Breach. Um, it's a fun, new-ish tactics game that I'm enjoying a lot. I picked it up in the last Steam sale. I've, I've only played a couple of hours. Um, I have played uh, just basically the easiest way to do things. Um, but uh, I'm enjoying it a lot and I'm excited to unlock the new modes and new squads of Vex to, uh, to I don't know, get 100%. Finish the hardest mode. I'm excited. Um, so I'm just on the base uh, mechs here um, with the basic time traveler dude um, and on normal difficulty and we're going to get going. Um, so time traveler, that's weird. Well, I think the, so, so the way that this works, um, so this is a tactics game, but it is uh, also kind of like a roguelike in a way, uh, in the main way that you are able to influence new runs from your old run is by, um, a, you can unlock new squads of mechs, and also when you have a, a run that ends in success or failure, um, you can send one of your uh, pilots back in time, uh, and they save their uh, experience, um, and uh, and that's a good thing. It, it gives you a little edge in your next run. In this case. Um, I actually recorded an entire episode of this that didn't actually record. So I only have eight experience on Ralph, um, but that's fine. Uh, it's fine. That episode wasn't good anyway. It's fine. Um, so I have three mechs here. All the squads are three mechs. I have a punchy mech, um, which is a little sturdier and deals damage, but uh, deals a little bit extra damage, but you got to be in punching range. Um, I have a tank mech, which is like high mobility, um, doesn't deal a lot of damage, but is good for tactical moves. Um, and then the artillery mech, which stands in the back and uh, shoots, uh, can hit uh, multiple things at once. We'll, we'll talk about each individual ability soon. Um, and, I don't know, maybe we'll talk about mech customization later. But for now, we're just going to jump right into the first island. Um, so, this is the dude that's hired us to protect this island. Um, and uh, we're going to help him out, even though he looks uh, super lame. Um, so, you can see there's a couple of options here for us. For our first mission, um, the uh, so we could go to Old Town or we could go to the Artifact Vaults. Um, the symbols here, so uh, are the bonus objectives, and it's uh, it's the, essentially the benefit that you get for completing uh, extra objectives. Um, Stars are like currency. You use them in between islands to buy upgrades for your mechs. Um, and Lightning Bolt is uh, restores essentially health. Um, so your run, you lose your run if you run out of power grid, power, um, and uh, completing missions like this with additional objectives um, can get you additional power. Um, you can heal it up, you start partially damaged, so I would like to heal up to full. Um, I'm going to go to Old Town here first, um, so you get a little preview of what this is going to look like. There's two missile silos here, um, uh, I guess satellite launches, and my bonus objective, which, for which I'll be uh, very well rewarded, is to defend them. Uh, I think we can do it, so let's give it a go. Um, so, ooh, this unit is armored. I'm getting, like, kinds of new, different stuff. Um, okay. Where am I at? Okay, so this is the initial placement phase. You get to pick where your mechs start. Um, I'm going to start 
punchy over here and tank over here and then artillery somewhere in the middle this is usually around what i do with punchy towards the front um the reason i'm putting him over here is because i want to punch this guy as soon as possible because he is providing armor to these other guys um cool so this works basically very similarly to other tactics games where each of your guys gets a move and attack um, the enemies get that as well, uh, except the fun, puzzly thing about this is that you get to see what their move and attack is going to be before they do it. Um, so you get to kind of puzzle out how you might, oh man, can't reach him, um, how you might prevent them from, uh, doing the thing. So we can see... This Firefly here is going to shoot a pebble, damage of one, um, at this uh, tank. Um, this guy's kind of like an artillery unit. He's going to blop a, uh, a lob a dart um, over... I don't know, what does it say? Lob an artillery shot at a single tile. So he's shooting this building. Um, and then this guy's just kind of hanging out, giving a passive bonus. Uh, why do the buildings matter? Well, they essentially represent your power grid here. So if a building gets damaged, then uh, I will lose uh, power on my power grid. And I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to try to prevent that as best as I can. Um, can weird, weird slowdown here. Uh, okay. Um... I'm going to think about this turn for a while and also investigate this weird slowdown. <laughs> 